What's up guys, Physical Media Man back here again for another Physical Media Man Monday video for you. I got two unboxings and then a garage sale pickup for you. Um, before I get started, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, leave feedback, do all that good stuff. Um, I'll leave the links down below to my Instagram as well as my Instagram store for the Physical Media Man. Uh, my Facebook pages, one for the Physical Media Man slash Physical Media Man store, and the other one for uh, my HodgePodge Garage, which is where I'll, I'll sell other items that are not media related. Um, I'll also leave the link to my eBay. I've been posting clothing items on there, um, so if you're interested in any of that type of stuff, you can find it there. Um, also leave the link to my email. If you're interested in any items that are for sale, I don't believe I have any in this video that are for sale, but excuse me. And then um, I think that's about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'll do the unboxings first because um, I received these items first. So the first one is from the Disney Movie Club. Um, I agreed to accept the movie of the month. And I'm pretty excited about this one, so if I can get it open here. Right, there we go. Don't want to ruin any slip covers here. So I think I'll only have one, maybe two at the most, uh, left to fulfill my uh, two year what I had to purchase, so that's pretty good. Um, so first up we got Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 3. Um, let me know if any of you guys have seen the first two volumes and if I should keep this or not. I'm kind of up in the air. Um, I love getting every, anything Disney, so I'm thinking about just keeping it because it was part of this, so I mean it wasn't too expensive. And then we got the multi-screen edition of The Incredibles 2. I've watched the first Incredibles, but it's been a long time. Um, so probably the next week or so, we'll probably revisit the first one and then watch this one because we didn't get to see it in theaters. Um, so I'm really looking forward to checking this out and very happy to add it to the collection, especially with the slip cover. And then next up, uh, we got an unboxing from Down a Movie. Uh, Rick, if you guys are familiar with his his channel, he's friends with Cinema Sickness and he has his own channel. I'll leave the, the link to that down below. Um, he did send many media mail, and I know they're able to do this, but I haven't ever received something that said this, so it's got opened for inspection by the United States Postal Service. So that was, that was kind of different. But anyways, maybe I should have brought some scissors. I think I can get it. I got it. Uh, I was watching one of his videos and he said he had some items for sale on um, on eBay and he'd give a better deal. Um, so I saw this one and contacted him. Um, I've never seen this for sale anywhere. Oh wow, he got a great deal on it too. Uh, but. I'm happy even paying what I paid. He gave me a good deal compared to what I saw on eBay. We got Fandango with uh, Kevin Costner and Judd Nelson. And the premise of this movie sounded interesting too, so um, very happy to pick this one up and add to my Kevin Costner collection. Probably watch it pretty soon. Looks like he only paid $1.97 for it. I don't know if you can see that. But. I paid seven dollars total, and I mean, it cost him two sixty six. I assume to ship. So, um, very happy to add this to my collection, and looking forward to watching it. So, I thought those were two great pickups, and I thought that was all I was going to have for this week. And I stumbled across a Facebook post of a garage sale, and it it was November tenth at the time. So, 
Um, it just snowed the night before here in Indiana. Um, and it was pretty cold that day, but they had a heated garage, so and it was just down the road from me. So I decided to go. Um, I saw some video games in the pictures, so that was mainly what I was after. So I'll kind of show how... Okay, so I looked at those first. They had them marked at $5 a piece. I thought that was a little too high. So I started looking at the movies, and the movies are really hard to go through. Um, I actually knocked some over. Um, he just had them on a shelf, but they were all stacked like on top of each other and then back. Um, I almost had to like pull them out in order to go through them because they were right next to another stack and it was just a mess. Uh, but I saw these two and I decided to pick them up. Um, happy to add this and I think I watched this when I was younger. We got Atlantis, The Lost Empire and Michael J. Fox is the main voice in it and it came out in I want to say 2000. I don't know what it says. Anyways, um, so these were a dollar a piece. So I thought that was a great deal, especially to add to my Disney collection. And then I was pretty sure this was out of print, and I've heard people talk about it. Um, we got Iron Eagle with uh, Louis Gossett Jr. and Jason Gedrick. Um, and it's kind of like a cheesier Top Gun almost, I think. I don't know. I've never seen it. So for a dollar, um, I was happy to pick it up. So add that to the collection. And then, so I was just checking out with, I think first I just did, I did these two, or these two movies, and then this controller, which is for a PlayStation Move. And I actually had picked up the little, I thing from a Goodwill a while ago for like two dollars and fifty cents and I didn't have any controllers yet so I took this up there and he said uh, I asked how much it was and he said a dollar so I thought that was a great deal um, so then I go to my car oh yeah there was a PlayStation 2 controller I wonder if he's only charging a dollar for that too so I go back in um, and it seems to be in pretty good shape I haven't tested it yet but I mean, it seems to be great. Uh, he said two dollars on that, and there was two of them, but the other one was not uh, a first person or first party. Sorry, first party. It wasn't put out by Sony. It was a third party controller, and it didn't seem as nice. So I just picked this one up because I already have four or five, but a couple of them are in rough shape. So I'll probably replace one of those. And um, so two dollars there. And then I thought, well, maybe it'll be worth a shot, and I'll try to get a good deal on the the game. So there were six 64 games, so at five dollars that would have came out to thirty dollars. I said, would you do twenty? And he countered at twenty-two, or he might have said twenty-five, but I said I only had twenty-two. Um, so that comes out to three sixty-seven a game. So I thought that was a pretty good deal, and I did not have any of these. I did think I had one, but it doesn't appear to be that way. No. So first up we got Turok 2 uh, Seeds of Evil and this one does have a sticker on the side and Turok 2 written on it but all the other ones seem to be pretty, I mean this one also needs some work but we got Battle Tanks um, so yeah it's got some some sticker residue there that I'll need to remove um, and then we got the first Turok and I never really played these games, so looking forward to checking them out. Next up, we got 1080. And this one was the one I thought I had, but um, according to my, my Excel spreadsheet of video games I own, which is completely up to date, um, if anyone's interested in seeing that, let me know. I can try to post that somewhere. But um, I didn't have this yet, so I was real happy about that. Uh, next up, we got Mission Impossible, the game. Um, never played it either, so. And then lastly, lastly, we got another Battle Tanks. Battle Tanks Global Assault. Um, so $22 for all six of these games. And then another one, two, so another three. There's 25 I paid $27 for 
664 games, PlayStation Move controller, PlayStation 2 controller, and two DVDs. So I thought that was a great deal. So that's everything I got this week. Um, I'll probably have a slow week. I probably won't pick anything up uh, the week that I'm filming this video. Um, it's September, or no, it's November 12th uh, as I'm filming. Um, so next week will be uh, Black Friday and Black Friday shopping. So really looking forward to that. Um, so I'll probably definitely take it easy this week. Um, but since I'm ahead, it won't really matter. But um, that's everything I got. So uh, like I said, make sure to like, subscribe, leave comment, comments and all that stuff. So this is Physical Media Man signing off. Physical media will never die. Physical media man. Physical media man. Physical media man. Yeah.